Okay, so here is how I uh, I got drop downs within a drop down here. So um, if you come over here to your elements and you uh, go down and um, add a nav bar, and then um, come over here, select a link, and you know get in the menu itself, and I'm just going to add a drop down. Uh, so now I have a drop down over here and then I'm going to come over here to the settings and say open that menu on hover and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to I'm getting here in the list where the links are and I'm going to go ahead and add another drop down so now I have a second one here and I'm going to go ahead and say open it on hover and then you notice um, you know it's still like if I open it up it's dropping down again so what I'm going to do so I'm going to come here to this icon first of all and I'm just going to say you know right icon I guess just I need a name here um, and then I'm going to go to uh, transforms and I'm just going to transform it and I'm going to rotate it I think it should be you know negative 90 Oop. just like that and then I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then come down here and select this drop down list um, and I'm going to give it a class and I'm going to say you know drop right um, and then it's positioned absolutely so really you don't even have to do much here I'm just going to um, move this over here and then move it up just like that and then I would really worry about aligning all of this and styling it and making it look good if it was in a project but I'm since it's not, now they're both set to open on hover, so what I should get uh, when I preview this here is drop down, drop down, and you see it's off to the right now instead of coming uh, coming straight down below it there, so um, hopefully that makes sense and makes this uh, uh, easier uh, to kind of get a hold of because it was confusing for me at first too.